Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny Robin here. Today I want to discuss creating a content backlog and why it's super important for marketing strategies. So for me, day in, day out, I mean, I'm working tireless days a lot of the time. Like if I go to a hearing in the morning, I'm not out. You know, I leave my house six o'clock in the morning. I'm out by, you know, 11, 11.30 sometimes. So there goes half my day where I have to get other stuff done too but I also have to promote my business. So one of the things that I have is I create, you know, whenever I have spare moments, I'm just creating content as much as I can whenever I'm feeling creative and just storing it in places where I obviously have easy access to. Like for me, I use Dropbox and I also just uh, have a lot of stored content on my phone. So it's important to just constantly be creating content and then create that backlog and if you see you know, interesting pictures that you wanna repost or uh, other pictures here and there, you don't necessarily need to post them right away. Rather, what you can do is you could save them and then use them for a later time. And what you can also do is create a content calendar, which has, you know, uh, I'm actually gonna be doing a separate video on content calendar, but it'll have uh, you know, a column for date, and then for the different types of social medias that you have or that you're using, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, now TikTok, uh, that way you could just constantly be having content even when you don't have time to make the content because you've already created such a backlog that you have weeks or even a month's worth of content or more uh, to be producing. So that's something that's really helping me. Uh, as I am videotaping this, I'm probably, it's mid-December, and I'm probably out until the end of the year with just constant content that's gonna be posted uh, because I've just been creating so much content that now I have an adequate backlog to uh, keep on posting. Um, something else that's important about just creating the backlog is to have different types of categories of content so obviously you don't want to be posting the same thing over and over again so for me I post a lot I, I record a lot while I'm driving and so I want to keep my content fresh so I'm not always posting videos of myself driving so I, I for me I need to mix it up so I'll also be creating other types of content as well whether it's you know uh, just not not just like driving videos, but also the content. So like if I'm talking just about marketing or branding, um, you know, I'll switch it up to different types of branding or different types of social media that I would be totally focused on. So because I do personal injury law, you know, if I'm in court, I can take a picture of the courthouse or myself in the courthouse and, uh, you know, tag myself, check in at the at the courthouse or wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing, so that people are just updated with what I'm doing constantly and it just keeps them in mind. So I'm not just telling them over and over, like I'm a PI attorney, I'm a PI attorney, but instead I'm just kind of giving them a little bit entertainment as to what I'm doing uh, and also just trying to be informative as to you know what I do in my area of law. Um, so that's, that's, that's pretty much it, to just constantly be, be creating content and store the content, not just use it, uh, you know, store it in like a content bank and distribute it over time so that when you're going through lulls or you're extremely busy, so you know, if I'm preparing for trial, I really don't have time to be you know, marketing so much, but I already have that backlog so that things are staying consistent and I'm consistently flowing with uh, new ideas and fresh content. Um, all right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know, get, leave a comment, and I look forward to engaging with you guys. All right, see ya.